Last time every day I got a forty Fortnite win. That was pretty epic, I must admit. Um Uh so I fuck that oh shit, that loud. So I um I forgot to open the website, so gonna be a little second. No, and uh, I'm not Oh shit, that fucking Okay, okay, well, we are ready. Okay, here I go. Okay. Okay, so let's do a recap. So we started off at um chapter one of Gion last time. Okay. So I'm gonna read the last paragraph. Uh so uh Jesus on Nathanael that's a name, by the way. It's N A T H A N A E O. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't fucking know. Uh, coming to. Wait, what did that. Wait. Uh, wait. Wait. I guess. Okay, well, it might be a bit different, because I don't fucking know, but I guess. Okay, so, okay. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him, and saith of him, Behold, an Israelite, uh, indeed, in whom no guilt. Wait, okay, yeah, sorry. What the fuck? That so gay. That the one that I. What was the one that we were reading last time? I th What's that one? No. Okay, here we go. So a little recap here. Okay. So um. So uh, give on Nathaniel approaching. He said of him, "Here truly is an Israelite." Who in whom there was no deceit? How do you know me, Nathanael? Asked. I'm going to refer to Nathanael as M. So if I say N, that's Nathanael. Okay. Uh, so how do you know me? N asks. Jesus answered, "I saw you while you were still under the fig tree." Before Philip called you, then N declared, Rabbi, you were the son of God, you were the king of Israel. Jesus said, you believe me, be you believe because I told you under the fig tree, you will see greater things than that. He then added, very truly, I tell you, you will see the heaven open, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the son of God of man. Or oh, the son of man. Sorry. Okay. That was done. Um, with a recap. Now we're going into the real juicy stuff. Jesus changes water into wine. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Uh, Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples 
had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied. My hour had not yet come. His mother, his mother said to the servant, Do whatever he s tells you. Nearby stood six stone water guilds, the kind used by the guild for cere ceremonial washing, each holding from twenty to thirty gallons. Jesus said to the servant, Fill the guilds with water, so they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from. The servant who had drawn the water knew. Then he, uh, then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the choice wine, and then the keeper wine after the guest has had too much to drink. But after you saved the best, but you have saved the best till now. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the fourth of the signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Sorry, my mouth would fucking die. After he, after this, he went down to Capo, Capo, Capo C A P E. I am fucking. <sighs> Capernaum with the mother and brothers and, brothers and his disciples. There they stayed for a few days. Jesus cleared the temple court. And I got nothing to drink. Mm. <sighs> when it was almost time for the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple court, in the temple court, he found people selling cattle, sheaves and doves, and others s sitting at tables exchanging money. So he made a whip out of cord and drove all all from the temple court, both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. To those who sold doves, he said, "Get these out of here! Stop turning my father's house into a market." His disciples remembered that it had written, "Zeal for those who for your house will consume me." Now Jude then responded to him, What sign can you show to prove us your authority to do all this? Jesus, an Jesus answered them, the, the, Destroy the temple and I will raise it again in three days. They replied, It had taken forty-six years to build the temple, and you were going to raise it in three days, but the temple he had broken up with his body. After he raised from the dead, his disciples he called what he had said. Then they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. Now while he was in Jerusalem, the Passover festival, many people saw the signs he was performing and believed in his name. But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. He did not need any testimony about mankind, for he knew what what was in each person. Ooh, that went by, that went by quick. We're going to do another one. Chapter three. Do, do, do. Uh, now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus that night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who had come from God, for no one could perform the sign you were doing if God were not with him. And Jesus replied, Very truly, I tell you, no one no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. How can someone be born when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit flesh gives. Uh, both to the flesh, but the spirit gives birth to the spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. <sighs> the wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear it sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from 
or where it's going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. How can this be, Nicodemus asked? You are Israel, teacher, said Jesus, and you do not understand these things. Very truly, I tell you, we, we speak of what we know, and we testify of what we have been, what we have seen. But you people still do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and and you do you do not believe. That how then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the ones who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Yet then Moses lifted up the snake out in the wilderness. So the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in Him. For God so loved the world that he gave and his his only and his one and only son that whoever believed in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For for God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him. Whoever believed in him and not condemned, but whoever did not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light, light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lies by the truth come, comes into the life, so that it may, may be seen plainly what they have done, and... Oh, fucking Christ. But whoever lived by the truth comes into the light, so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. John testifies about again about Jesus. <sighs> After that, Jesus and his disciples went down into the Judean Gude- uh, countryside, where he spent some time with them and baptized. Oh. And now John also was baptizing at Anon near Salem, Bic- or Salem, Salem. I don't know. I'm gonna call it Salem. Uh, because there was plenty of water and people were coming and being baptized. That would before John would put in put in prison. An argument developed between some of John's disciples and a certain Jew came over. Uh, can't fucking. Uh, an argument developed between some of John's disciples and a certain Jew over the matter of a ceremonial washing. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, that man who was with you on the other side of Jordan, the one you testified about, look, he is baptizing and baptizing and everyone is going to him. To this John replied, A person can receive only what is given to them from heaven. You yourself can't t- can testify that I said I am not the Messiah, but sent, to, but am sent ahead of him. The bride belongs to the bridegroom. The friend who attends the bridegroom waits and listens for him, and is full of joy when he hears the bridegroom's voice. That voice, that joy is mine, and is now complete. He must become greater. I, I must become less. The one who the one who comes from above is above all. The one who is fucking quite. I can't post it for shit at three thirty a.m. <sighs> the one who comes from above is above all. The one who is from the earth belongs to the earth and speaks as one from the earth. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accept his, accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted it has certified that God is truthful. For the one, for the one whom God has sent speaks of the speaks the word of God or for God. Yet the Spirit without limit. The Father loves the Son and has pl- and has placed everything in His hand. 
Whoever believed in the sun has eternal life, but whoever rejects the sun will not see life. For God's wrath remain, remains on them. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Sorry if that would really stuttery. Uh-uh. I mean, that were two chapters. I think that was pretty good. Uh, I don't even know if I'm fucking reading this. This shit is confusing. Confused. Confusing. I don't fucking understand this at all. No. Well, um, it was, uh, I mean, I only liked the second chapter. That was pretty easy to understand. This third chapter here, um, this was the world chapter so far. Um, um, I mean, I don't think you this one at all. Uh, it was so confusing, like, hmm. I mean, we, he would talk about Moses and shit. The fucking Moses. I mean, I know, like, I know I've heard of Moses, but, like, they don't explain Moses at all. Like, am I reading the song? And John, and John, not the fourth one I'm supposed to read? I don't know, man. Shit, it hard. Comment if I'm reading this shit wrong. Sorry if, if I insulted anyone. Well, have a good day, I guess. By the way, um, I'm using uh, uh, Audacity to record this. And by the way, um, the website I'm reading this off of is Bible.com. Pretty good website. Seems like, uh, pretty good. Or at least from what I have, uh, like, you it for. Like, for the first eight chapters, it's been pretty fine. Well, um, I'm, I might record another one right after this. But, I don't know. My method, uh, 